Hello. Hello. Good evening. How are you? Thank you for joining us. My name is Barry. And I'm Jay. And together we are Matusu Craft. Crafts. Yes. Welcome to our channel. We're independent stamping up demonstrators based in the UK. So if you live in the UK, France, Germany, Austria, or the Netherlands, you'll be able to purchase kind of stamping up products from our online shop. Do use the card host code, which can be found on our website at mitosucrafts.com to receive a handmade card from us the following month or any extra gift if you order qualifies in the form of tutorial bundles designed by the Snapping Glam Squad and Global Creative Project. Previous tutorial bundles are available on our website as well if you've missed uh, getting those for free. Um, so yeah, check out our website for tutorial bundles as well as upcoming uh, online classes. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, pop in a comment and you'll be put into the random draw as we give away the projects that we create during the live stream. So good. Lovely. So um, we are going to do a random draw for, I didn't actually bring it over with me. Um, <laughs> what card are we giving away? The second um, red, white and blue card. That's it. So GP. yes. So the one which Jay did with the... Um, I'll bring it in. Yeah, we'll bring it over in a moment. We're going to do the draw for that in a moment, but we um, are not going to say hi to anyone. <laughs> Because we are not actually live. Well, we are live with you, but this is a pre-recorded video because we're actually out today. So we, but we didn't want to miss out on it. We didn't want you to miss out on anything. So, um, so do please leave your comments in the side as well in the live comments because we will try and catch on and be with you live yes. if we can. And we will take. Just say we will. <laughs> we will. Okay. We will um, be watching it and premiering it. And um, yeah, so do leave your comments and we will then pick a winner for those and say, and for those at the, on Sunday when we're out. Um, but yeah, so we're not, we can't say hi to anyone because we, we don't know who's watching at the moment. Um, but we will type hi. So, but we are going to do the live draw. So if you left a comment in on Sunday's video. Yes then you are in with a chance of winning. So let's go over to that, and then we are going to be playing with the brood for you. And it's me tonight. Yay. So, yay. Jay's very happy. He's got to like, give him a night off. He can do Sunday. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Monday, lovely. Tuesday, Wednesday. Yes, that's it. So let's go over to that, and then we'll crack on with tonight's demonstration. So good luck, everyone. Cool. Right. So we have 26 comments, and good luck, everyone. And the winner is bom, 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 Cheryl Bassett. Congratulations. Congratulations there, Cheryl. Um, if you would please email us, Barry and Jay at matusucrafts.com. Please pop today's date, the 1st of June 2022, in the subject line. And your full mailing address, please include your country code, and we will pop that card in the post to you. And Jay has kindly just brought that one over to me. And this is the card you have won. So congratulations, start again. Congratulations there, Cheryl. That card will be flying its way over to you at some point. So congratulations, do email us. So let's crack on with this. So as mentioned, Brood for You, this one right here. And I'm gonna be doing, they're quite, I say this every time, they're quite simple cards. Well, I feel like they're quite simple cards, but we're gonna be playing with a technique. We're gonna be getting a little bit smooshy and inky so yes so that's that um first card first well, what i'm going to do is i'm going to have to do the backgrounds first and then i am going to then do some inking and also i'm going to do the background for both cards for this so while they can be drying whilst i do some other bits and bobs as well the first things first is i'm going to be also be using the lovely brick and mortar 3d embossing folder so i'm going to do some embossing first okay Sorry, just shake the table. And what I've got is I have got two card bases prepped and I've got two matte and layers prepped for the cards right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna emboss both of my matte and layers with the brick and mortar 3D embossing folder. And I have got it here, fortunately, so. We will be using the plate number four for this one. And I'm just going to pop these in this. Now I am using thick cardstock for this layer and um, because I'm going to be getting it wet and I find that the thick cardstock just works a little bit better with retaining or um, working with water. I just found it just it's a little bit more stable. 
It's my own personal preference. So that's one done, and I'll show you those both in a second once I've done now. embossing done so and this is a lovely I just love this 3d embossing folder it's um, I think it works perfectly with this set so there we go just look at the detail which you've got here all right and um, what I'm gonna do then for this background is I'm gonna take myself a bit of kitchen roll and because I'm gonna get a bit wet so I'm just gonna pop some kitchen roll down on the surface and I've got myself one of the larger blocks so I've got myself here block, what one is this? This is block F. And I am also going to be taking some ink. And the ink I am going to be using, I'm going to be using Orchid Oasis. I will also need some spritzes. Now I've got water and alcohol. Now I'm going to be using, um, on one of them I will be using alcohol and a mixture of alcohol and water. One of them I'm going to just try it with water and we're going to see what happens. Or one of them I may just save dough with alcohol and then one with water. I'll see how I feel um, how I feel that it's working on the actual block. But I'm going to do one of try and do one of each so that you can show you what the um, what the two outcome is. I've got myself orchid oasis here and what I'm going to do is I'm just smooshing this down onto my block here. Let's do the um, let's do the water one first. Okay, so we've marked this up, water. Okay, and what I'm going to do is make sure I've got my nozzle pointing down because trust me, I've done it before where it's under the side and or up and you can spray yourself in the face. And I'm just going to spritz this well, you're <laughs> a few times. Is that too, do you, do you, I, 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 I suppose I'm a little, uh, yeah. I go quite close to get a bit more of a concentration of um, water. Of water. And then just move, to, obviously it's already gone and splattered that one over there. <laughs> um, and I'm just going to just move this around my block just a little bit. Like so. And then I'm just going to then grab this. It's going to drip on it, but I'm not worried about that. And then I'm going to turn this over. And then I'm going to smoosh this down. Now you'll get a different effect every single time you do this and the more or less water you use the more concentrated it's going to be or the more diluted it's going to be and that's that one there you can because this is water it's it's stayed on the surface a bit more and you can actually move it around you've got a little bit more dripping room. dripping <laughs> dripping yeah <laughs> dripping room dripping maneuverability okay and that's that one there Okay, that's come out quite dark, that one has. I'm going to pop that to one side, but it probably will dry a bit lighter. What I'm going to do now is I am going to do one with alcohol because I want to show you the, the thing. I think what I did on my original is I did water and alcohol because it worked quite nicely. So I'm just going to do the same again. I'm taking my one with alcohol in it. And you can see it doesn't move the ink around um, as freely as the water did. So I've done that. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spritz a little bit of water into this as well. And that just moves it just a little bit more, I found. And I think it pulls out, I think the alcohol pulls out a different colour as well. What concentration is the alcohol? I don't actually know what's in that one there. I'm sorry, I don't. Um, so I'm doing the same thing, doing that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this one over again. And then I'm going to then go down. Now the alcohol soaks into the paper a lot more and dries a lot quicker. You do not get any... Um, you do not get any dripping room. So you can see the difference there between water. It's, it's, it moves around a lot more. Alcohol absorbs into the cardstock a little bit more. And I preferred myself, personally prefer this effect. I think it shows off. I prefer it, I, I prefer it when it's not as smushed. But I'm, I'm going to use the two here. 
for you. So that's the hope for now that gives you a bit of an idea on the two types. So that was alcohol and water. If you were to just use alcohol and use more of it, it will probably smoosh around a little bit more, but it does absorb into the paper quite quickly. Water sits on the surface just that little bit longer and just smooshes out just a little bit more. So you, there you go. There's the two different types which you've got. Alcohol does dry a little bit quicker as well. And I find, don't know whether or not the alcohol pulls out the, the pinks and the purple, the pink in this purple. I don't know. I don't know if not it's the alcohol which has reacted with it or anything, but no, I think it, the for me, the way it's just a bit happy. Yeah, purpose. it's pulled out. It's pulled out the pink in it, which I think is quite nice. Okay, and clean, and then we are done. Pop your ink pad away, and that's how you want to do those backgrounds. So it's 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 a smooshing technique, and it's a fun technique to play with. So we can pop these to one side for a moment just to dry off a little bit. If they're not dry by the time we come to do the actual card, I can I will heat set them because I do have the heat tool with me. I'm just going to pop these to one side for a moment. So for the first card, I am going to, as mentioned, I have got my card bases, um, which I've put somewhere and I don't know where I've put. There they are there. So I've got these here. And I am going to grab myself a bit of basic white. So I'm going to grab my trimmer and I'm going to cut this down to seven and a half centimeters by 10. Oh no, that's the wrong size. I need another bit of paper. There we go. So I need that seven and a half centimeters by 10 centimeters okay and I want to just pop a little bit of a mark so I can either do a pencil mark or I'm going to use my trimmer and what I'm going to do is on the right hand side I'm going to line it up at two and a half inches and I'm just going to you just flick from I uh, so I, I'm so sorry I do Mick I do yes I do flick between the two um, and I do really apologize for that <laughs> I don't realise that I'm actually doing it. Um, but the trimmer is there. You have inches and centimetres. It is, yes. Sorry, Jason's Sorry. got, Jason's I, I got angry with me. Um, can I have the... I, I don't know where the ruler is, Jay. Can I have the ruler? One point. I don't know where it is. Or is it on the table still somewhere? I don't see it. One. That, Jay, was, Jay that was my fault. That was, Jay, that was Jay's fault because he was... Um, I was prepping your stuff. You was prepping my stuff. So, I'll take the point. So, all right, I, I, let's go to centimetres then. Okay, so it isn't actually two and a half centimetres. It is actually two inches, five centimetres. Okay, and pop a mark. <laughs> Shush now, Jay. <laughs> so, two inches, five centimetres on the short edge on the right-hand side. So, this one here. So, there, right-hand side. Pop it two inches, five centimeters. On the bottom part, what I want to do is I want to do this at one and a half inches, which is 3.8 centimeters. And we will pop another mark there. Okay, so I've got one mark here on the right hand side and one mark here on the bottom hand side. And then what I'm going to do is I then want to use my trimmer and I want to cut from that mark to that mark and then that mark to the corner. So we've got that one, and then that mark to the right up to the very corner. Like so. Okay. And then we've got this nice little um, bit which we can do some stamping on in a bit. Okay. Then what we can do is I have got myself a bit of black cardstock here. I'm just going to see whether or not. This is the correct size. Just need a bigger piece, actually. I don't know if I've got a bit of scrap now. Oh, am I going to have to ask Jay for some black cardstock? Did you not bring it? Not big enough for what I need. I need some black cardstock. Oh, it's not off to a good start tonight, am I? Thank you very much. All right. So this is, now 
this probably would have worked, but I wanted to. I didn't want to. Um, it's a little bit. The, the angle is a little bit odd down here, so I didn't want to chance it. So it's better to start with a whole new piece. What I'm going to do, you can either. I'm not going to give you any specific measurements for this one here. I'm just. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this directly down onto a bit of black cardstock. So a bit big enough, and I'm going to line up two edges. I'm going to line up the top and the side, the right hand side, the correct distance I want from it. So around about an eighth of an inch or three millimetres is probably suitable there. I don't want it, just want to add a little bit of a matte and layer on this. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to then grab my trimmer and I'm going to then trim the excess off. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I tend to try and line up this this white edge as it shine as it starts to come through the ruler. You can see the inside channel, and then I then move it back a tiny bit, keeping it straight. And then I'm then going to then cut up, and then that way I can then get myself a layer of a black line. Same thing on this side here. Line up the white edge with the edge of the ruler as you start to see it on the channel on the inside, and then push it back a fraction just a fraction see and I've gone and done that a little bit too short on that one so it's not a hundred percent um but you can go round and we can then try and tidy that up a little bit and try and bring them in and make them a little bit shorter if we can And then I'll just grab my scissors and I'll get those on those as well if I can at the end, um, just to tidy it up a little fraction. So if you've got yourself a guillotine, this would work quite nicely as well. I'm just going to then just tidy these up just a fraction here. Now I have got one I made earlier on, um, which I have got this one right here, which I made earlier which has got myself a slightly bigger gap. So I'm going to move on to the one which I did earlier in preparation because it's easier when you can get yourself over the top of the trimmer and you can look down onto it. So that's why my my edges have been a little bit shorter than I would like them to be. Um, so I would ideally, when you haven't got a camera in front of you, stand over the trimmer and you'll be able to see it just a little bit more. Or you can draw some pencil lines if you want to, just to make sure, and then you can then follow the pencil lines. But that's basically what you want to do for that piece there. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stamp onto this one now. So I'm going to use the beer glass, the pint glass, and I'm going to use the sentiment here, OAL Yes. And we're going to pop those two like that there. And I'm going to pick those up with one block. That one. And I'm going to take some Memento ink. So hopefully you got the gist of how I did that. Do just take a little bit more time when you're doing it to make sure that you get the correct um, the correct gap. So I'm just going to ink this up with Memento here. And then I'm just going to then stamp this one in the center like that and there we have it okay then i just do just need to just take the center part of the, the, the flower then um of the glass which is that one there grab myself a block that one and I'm going to stamp this one in I'm going to go with crushed curry on this one here ink that one up and then we will then stamp that in the center of that glass 
and there we have that thing. I think uh, I think the crush curry works well with this one here. All right. Then what I'm going to do now is I am going to grab one of the backgrounds which I did earlier on. So the background I'm going to use I think for this one here is the water one. So I just now need to decide what way round it's going to be. I think I want more of the white drippy parts shining through. And this is what I'm going to use for the second card. All right. And that's going to go over. So I'm happy with that one. I'm going to take this and I'm going to stick this directly down onto my card base. So I've got myself my card base, which has been prepared with a basic white thick already. Pop some glue on the back of this. So I hope everyone's had a lovely day today. Stick that one down like so. That one there. It's still a little bit wet, but that's fine. That will, as that dries, that will sort itself out. It's just a little bit. It's just a little bit wet, but it's more in the middle where the concentration of water was. I'm going to take this one here. And I'm going to stick some dimensionals onto the back of this one. So do remember, if you like anything you see us using, you can purchase stuff from us from our online shop. So if you live in the UK, France, Germany, no, Germany, Germany, Netherlands or Austria, you can, um, you can buy from us. Links can be found down below in the description. Okay, and there's a few promotions going on as well at the moment, I believe, Jay, isn't there? Do you remember you, you have the last last chance products, don't we? For the mini. For the mini. So if you if there is anything you like in the mini catalogue, uh, which you haven't got yet and you want to um, think, so if I need to get that, remember, do have a little look at that because obviously it is retiring at the end of this month. So there will be some things in there which will not be coming back, pretty much most of it. Um, so do grab that. There's also a couple of other promotions as well going on at the moment. You have got the 50% off. You've got buy one kit and get another one 50% off. Yes. That is happening this month as well. So you can save yourself if you love the kits. And the kits are great. If you just want some simple cards, want to do a bit of travelling, you can get yourself a couple of the kits and you can get, so you can get, one, get one at half price. So that's a bonus right there. All right, so that's that one. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, this is where I get messy now. I'm just going to grab myself this. I'm going to grab myself a bit of Winker Stella. And I'm going to, and I'm just going to squish this onto a block. Okay. And I'm going to just quickly just colour in the beer itself. With a bit of Winker Stella, just so it's got a little bit of shimmer and shine to it. I don't know whether or not that's showing up on the camera there, but um, it will do the in person. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick up some of this excess here. And this is again, make sure you've got nothing important around you because you could splatter. And then I'm just going to then. Pick up some bits here, and then just splatter some splodges on this. And I've just I've just squeezed it a little bit just so I can get some bigger splodges. And that, I think, then just finishes that card off quite nicely. Obviously, you've got some excess here, so you can... Don't chuck that away just yet. Just pop that block to one side, and we may be able to use that for something else later on. Okay, but there we have some splodges on that. I'm also just going to finish this one, the first card off for you, with a few embellishments. So I have got the... Oh, just draw. I've just lost a gem. It's fine. I 
I heard it fall on the floor. I caught it on my jacket. Um, so I'm going to use the 2021-2023 in, in colour opal rounds. And I'm just going to use some of these um, lighter colour ones there. Jay's found it, I think. And I'm going to use two here. I'm going to use one. Up there like that. And then another one just down there, like so. And that there has just added just a little bit of bling on that one, which goes well with those um, splats, which we have got going on as well. So there we have it. There is card number one for you using that lovely smooshing background. And you will get a different effect every single time when you do this. So just, just play around and you'll, you'll get used to the concentration of water to ink to how much you want to move it around your, um, your go. So if I show you the original one, which we had on this one, which was this one right here, you can see I had a much less, a lighter, con must have had a lighter concentration or diluted it down a little bit more. And that's smooshed out just a little bit differently. So you will get a different effect every single time you do this. Which I think is great. So and you can do this in different colours, all sorts. Alright, so that there is card number one. This is the card which we will be giving away. So, um, But we won't be giving it away at the end of this video. We'll be doing that on the beginning of the next video. So do make sure you still leave us a comment in the live chat. Um, and we will be picking a winner from that one on Sunday. Okay, so let's move on to card number two. Storming through it tonight, Jay, aren't I? Yes, yes. you're a stormtrooper. I'm a stormtrooper. <laughs> <laughs> cool. All right, so what we've got here is we have got that initial, but that first background which we did. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to stick this down like I did last time onto my card base, directly down onto it. And because this one was the one which had the alcohol to it, this has dried a lot quicker because it just evaporates a lot more. And what we're going to do is we're just going to stick this one down like so. And that's that card base done and dusted right there for you. Okay, so we'll pop that one to one side. I'm going to grab a bit of scrap paper, which I had from earlier on. Okay, and I'm going to take my memento and I'm going to do some stamping. So I'm going to stamp the, the beer glass right here. So I've got that in memento. That one. I'm going to take my inner again. So this time, let's do a bit of Mango Melody on this one, because I did Crushed Curry on the original one. So let's do some Mango Melody on this one. And we'll pop that in. Like so. I think that works quite well as well. And I think because our ink pads need to probably need to, the, the inks moved around a bit on it, probably needs a bit of re-inking maybe. It's, it's, I seem to have a different gradient <laughs> on the ink pad, which I think works quite nicely with this particular set anyway. Okay, then what I'm going to do is that just needs to be die cut out. But before I do some die cutting on that one, I am going to... I'm going to do some preparation with a sentiment. So the sentiment which I am going to use... Is, oh, I thought I got this sentiment out already. Um, I did, but I don't know where I put it. There it is. There. So I'm going to use another round for your birthday, I think, which is quite a nice sentiment. And I'm going to be doing this on uh, some black cardstock right here. Um, I just need my embossing, which is there. And we've got the embossing buddy. Now, it's good news. Can we say this? We can say it, can't we? Yeah. I'm sure we can say it. Well, I'm going to say it anyway. The embossing buddy is coming back. So if you need an embossing buddy, it's coming back with some tools, some tweezers, some brushes, a little um, tray. Um, it is coming back. So if you've got, I know people have always asked us all, what, what is that you're using? The embossing buddy will be in the new catalogue. Um, I do apologise. 
to apologise for the noise which she may have just heard. That's, Suki. that's Suki playing with her toys. Thank you. <laughs> so I've got my embossing buddy right here. I've got a bit, a bit, a bit of black cardstock. Make sure it's big enough that you can hold on to one side of it as well. And I'm going to then grab my sentiments, which is this one. So this is cut down to size. This is a small piece, which is in centimeters, which is one and a half centimeters wide, which in inches will be one, two, three, four, five eighths of an inch, approximately, for the, the width of that one. Or the height, whatever you want to call it. I suppose it's the height, isn't it? And then I'm going to just ink this up with some Versamark and I'm just going to line up the edge right here. So one edge, get the top and bottom correct, and then oh, I then stamp that down. Grab yourself a bit of paper so you can then decant the um, embossing powder. So I'm going to use some white embossing powder here. This may work well with gold as well, possibly. I think it would work on silver. It would also work quite nicely, but I like the black and the white. And we'll pop that down. Pop that to one side for a moment whilst I just pop this back into your tub. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat set this. So I've got myself my heat gun here, my heat tool, and I'm just going to then just heat set this. Just stand, just turn the volume down if you don't like the noise. Just going to turn the heat gun on now and we're going to turn this into a, from a matte powder into a shiny powder. And there we have it. Can you see that? That's now turned, that's now gone shiny, and it's now set on that. So we can now just buff that off a little bit. So any of the white powder on the excess, just give it a wipe over. And then all I'm going to do on this side here is I'm just going to grab my trimmer, and I'm just going to just trim this down on this side like so. Alright, and that's how I created that banner for this card. So pop that to one side with the actual card and let's give myself a little bit of tidy up room here. So this comes with a lovely set of dies as well so you don't have to fussy cut any of this stuff out. Um, so I'm going to use this one right here. Now I think you've seen Jay use some of the dies already on some previous cards which is amazing. This, I think there's a lot which you can actually do with this particular set. I think it's, it's, it's quite fun and um, yeah, it's quite fun to play with. Very suitable for manly cards, if that's what you want to do. And yeah, there is lots which is around. So I'm just, just getting my machine ready. So I just had to change my plates over for cutting on this one. So in we go with the plates one and two and my threes. And we will then just pop this in like so. And we will die cut this out. So there is still time to book in for our TNT option for our worldwide option. Um, we are working with this and it's an all day craft retreat happening on the 12th of June. June. And it's an all day thing starting at 10 o'clock in the morning till 4 o'clock in the afternoon UK time. Um, it is recorded so if you can't join us live or because you're in a different time zone or you're just busy that day, you can um, still book in for it. You can't, uh, can't book in for it now with the kit options so you will just get the um, PDF options. 
and then you can then join us and then you'll have to prepare and purchase everything of, of your own but that is available um, over on our website go over to matusucrafts.com and um, go on to classes and events and you can find some stuff on there all right but yes if you want to do it at whole days so there will be it's with me and jay it's with um Lola from germany sarah and we've got hillary um that will be all four of us will be doing a class for the day okay so what i'm going to do here to finish this one off just going to pop some dimensionals on this one this is a quick video tonight is it? it is wow. nearly done <laughs> All right, I'm gonna pop this one down. That's Jay's hint to get ready to come over here because I'm nearly done. Oh, wow. Amazing. We're just gonna stick this one on like so. I'm then going to then stick this one on. So I'm gonna do some dimensionals, which is gonna go on this side over here. So just make sure that you know what side you are on one on the end and then one in the middle and then the other part is going to then get stuck onto the actual beer glass itself so which we can use some glue for that one so just take the backing off and grab your glue and just do a little dot of glue there and then that can then go on like that and then down like that there did i do any embellishments on this one yes, but you can't hardly see it so you could just use that just use the other ones do you reckon yeah there's what the same color again no uh, use the we'll use the blue that one which fell green. off the green so i'm going to use the one which fell off which jay found for me which he's kindly put there um where am i putting them jay can i have my card over Looks good. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with one up here. And then I go with another one there. And then let's go with that one down there, like so. So we're using the same ones again, the 2021, 2023 in colour opal rounds. And there we have it. Amazing. There is card number two. So you can see the original one which I did, which was right here. Um, so again, I've got a different, so I've got a different splatting pattern with my uh, with my background. But that was done with the, again water and alcohol. This was water and alcohol, but obviously I've used less water and alcohol, so it hasn't smooshed out as much. The concentration was there, and so on. And then we've got the original one which I did at the beginning, which was that one, like so. So there is uh, some fun, it's more about obviously the, the great set which we've got, this particular one, and the technique which we have showed you right here as well. It's not a new technique, because it's, it's been out there a long time, hasn't it? It's, it's, it's a smooshing technique, isn't it? Is it smoosh, yes. smooshing? So there we have it. Two cards there for you. So what do you think? Do you like those? Give us a thumbs up if you do. So, oh, okay. That was good timing, wasn't it? So you can see... A cat has just walked all the way across the table right there. Suki. Suki. <laughs> she saw an opportunity and walked in. Are you? No, we are there. Okay. So, yes. Oh. You don't often get to see Suki, do you? It's because we're at a different time. This is the noisy one you hear normally at feeding time. Yes. Tommy's cleaning himself. Tommy's, yeah, Tommy's, <laughs> on the, Tommy's cleaning himself. And we've got... Um, no, you can't no, see him. Shit, the other one's Minnie's down there. The other one. Yeah, I don't <laughs> The other one. So, thank you so much for joining us. Um, what do you want to add? So we will be giving away this card right here, but obviously we can't do it tonight because um, we haven't been able to pull all of your names in. Um, so we will draw, do a drawing for this one on Sunday. Mm -hmm. And then how are we going to do this one here? I don't, I don't know. We're, we're working out. Just leave some <laughs> comments um, in there, in the live chat as you would normally do, and then in the regular chat as well. So well, do... we'll do two, won't we? Oh, well, oh, yeah, we'll pick two winners. Yeah. Yes, okay. Leave a chat in the live and in the either or, and we will we will work out 
and we'll pick two winners at the beginning on Sunday evening. Yeah, that makes more sense. I was trying to make that so much more complicated than it needed to be, wasn't I? Yes. Mm -hmm. Pop in a comment in the live chat as well as the video comment section as well would be amazing. Lovely. So, good. I hope you enjoyed those two cards there this evening. Nice and quick for you tonight. Let's see, it's nice. Oh, it's really bright still. I think it's just it's the just, light. It's just the lighting in here. Yeah. There we go. Perfect. Thank you so much. Hello. <laughs> just purring away. Just purring away. Anyway, thank you so much thank for Thank you all for watching us. us. Yes, we will be back with you again on Sunday evening, same time, same place. Bye, Suki. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Bye.